Good morning, Diverse Church. Today we are looking at issues of justice and we're going to dedicate the whole day to justice and praying what is on our hearts and petitioning God with everything that we feel is appropriate. I want to share with you some thoughts that you might find helpful as you begin to pray for what is on your heart today. So I work for the Salvation Army, which is one of the biggest um, movements that believe in justice um, in the world. And as I arrive at my office each day, I am reminded about the overwhelming act of justice. There are two statues, one of Catherine Booth and the other of William Booth, and they both stand as a testament to the, the radical outworking of justice. But to really understand their story, we have to begin at the end. Now, William Booth left this earth in 1912, and London streets were arrested with people when he, when he died, and he, they came to celebrate his life. And in his time, both Catherine and William had been able to bring people into radical change and brought around justice in the nation of which we are part. He was, he and his army, were able to bring women and children and um, men um, out of poverty by looking after their housing and training and education and um, offering them different opportunities in life. So today our nation is completely changed as a result of someone like William Booth. And they leave people like me in awe and particularly in their commitment and even that they had a desire to dream and to act. Now, months before he left this earth, Booth was believed to stand up in London's Royal Albert Hall and say this. He said, While women weep as they do now, I'll fight. While little children go hungry as they do now, I'll fight. While men go to prison in and out, in and out as they do now, I'll fight. While there is a drunkard left, while there is a poor lost girl upon the streets, well, well, there remains one dark soul without the light of God. I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. Now, stories of justice are often told like this. And this narrative can leave us inspired. And yes, we are amazed at the kind of work that God has done through people like this. But in a strange way, it leaves us feeling alienated, thinking that we can never attain the success of people like this. But the truth is, yes, justice needs to work out in the big story, but it's more needful that it works out in the stories of which we are part every day. So today, as we outwork justice in our own stories, I urge you to do three things. Number one, justice is something that is a natural result of the love of God. As we fall more in love with God, we have no choice to fall more in love with his creation, of which people are part. So today, pray the prayer, God let me see your creation as you see them. God let me see people as you see them see them. Secondly, justice is tangibly connected to the, the act of worship. So as we begin to uncover the character of God and feel his heartbeat, we're able to experience the pain that he feels and, and see the tears that he sheds for the inequality. His people suffer. So today, as we worship, let it not be empty, but truly connected to the character of God. The sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Lastly, lastly, number three. God's people have then an option to respond. Once they know the love of God and the love of people, and they're tangibly connected to that through worship, to hear his voice and outwork that in their own lives. Now remember justice is not just about the William Booth model and that's valid but it is essential that we work it out in our own lives. 
A small example can be seen in Mark. Now Jesus has been asked to come round to someone's house because a daughter is believed to be dead. He's turned round to the family and ushers some of the professional mourners out and says to them, don't worry, she's just in her sleep. So Jesus raises this girl from her sleep and these people are awestruck at his act of works, his, his miracle that he's just performed. Now his response to them is not, look at me and look what I've been able to do, but his response was a deep holistic care for his people. He said to them, go and get her something to eat. Now Jesus is saying something very significant there. He's saying the kingdom of God, yes, can be about the big things and the, and the exciting things that make us go, wow, but they're equally about the small things that make a big difference. So today, I urge you to pray that prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we pray that the kingdom of God is brought about as we do our business today. So as I arrive at work today, yes, I'm going to remember the story of William and Catherine Booth, but more so, I'm going to remember the story that I have to outwork each day. A story of loving God and loving his people. A story of connecting that into worship and truly outworking a holistic care for his people in the small details of today. As someone really wisely said, we are made to be lovers, bold in broken places, pouring ourselves out again and again until we are called home. Let me just pray as we start today. Father God, I thank you that you are a God of your people. You are someone who has a deep care for your creation. And today, may we fall more in love with you, that we understand that even more. May we, in our worship, be tangibly connected to you and your character. And as we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May we be those lovers in broken places, pouring ourselves out again and again until we are called home. We pray this in the name of Jesus who died and rose again. Amen. Have a great day.